All right, what the heck happened just now to Buffalo Wild Wings? Of all the quarters we've seen this earnings season, the really suboptimal one we, we got from this beer and chicken wings chain, I think it surprised me the most of all. Last night, Buffalo Wild Wings reported a four-cent earnings miss off a $1.77 basis, substantially weaker than expected revenue, and worst of all, an outright decline in same-store sales, down 2.4% at the franchises, 1.7% at company-owned locations. Big plummet from last year's numbers. Plus, management cut their full-year earnings guidance. Ouch! Look, i got to tell you, I knew this company was being hurt by higher chicken wing prices. But these weak sales numbers are a whole different kind of problem, and one that has me wondering if watching sports while eating wings and drinking beer are national pastime, or at least my national pastime. Something going out of style? This stock fell off a cliff today, down more than 15 bucks, or nearly 11%. And I really got to figure out what went wrong here. So let's take a closer look with Sally Smith, the president and CEO of Buffalo Wild Wings, hear more about the quarter and her plans, more importantly, to turn things around. Because maybe this is the bottom. Ms. Smith, welcome back to Mad Money. Hi, Jim. Good to see nice you, Sally. to be Have here. To Thank you. All right, Sally, so I'm only used to greatness. And uh, part we of the reason too. I always think that is, like I said with, with Tim Cook, I love the product, so therefore I, I love you. the company because that's the way too. I'm taught. And I got to figure out what happened here because it's a dramatic decline, and yet I see nothing that caused it. Nothing in particular. I think it's a lot of little things. Okay. Um, I think that uh, the NCAA tournament probably wasn't as robust. Because uh, Nova blew them away? Well, <laughs> some, lo some losses. Well, okay. yes, congratulations. But uh, some losses uh, by the Big Ten early on, right. uh, big schools right. that really helped drive traffic. Very good point. I think there were some later games on Sunday nights, so you didn't have people going out to watch quite as much. Uh, so I think just the overall, only two overtimes versus seven in the prior year, I think made a, made a difference. I think you don't have a robust consumer out there, and I talked a little bit about that on our call. I know, which um, kind of surprised me, but you're not the only one. No, a especially in casual dining. Yeah, yeah, it seems like, I mean, we've seen it from Applebee's. It's okay. Um, we've seen it from what I, well, Dave and Buster said things are good. Mm -hmm. But a, a bunch of the people in your price point have said people just aren't going out as much. I don't get it. It's fun. It is fun. And I, th I think people are still going out. I think there are so many seats out there. I think we've seen a robust build uh, the last year, the number of restaurant seats. So you have uh, cheap money, so yes. low interest rates. You have private equity fueling some of the smaller companies. And I think the build, the competition for sites, as well as for people coming into restaurants. You've also seen, and we've seen, a much greater promotional environment. I think it's important for us, and we have some great promotional days. We got We have to get out and tell our message, give yeah. our, give that message. But one of the things you're talking about is stronger takeout. I thought, you know, so I run a restaurant, and you know, we serve beer. And the worst thing in the world, I ban takeout. I don't want takeout because I need the people to eat, have this, and then drink beer. I well, mean, we want both. I know, so but I you want can't, them so coming in. I know, but if they're come, if they're if they're if you don't have a great takeout opportunity, they're going to go somewhere else for that takeout that night. That's they're not point. coming in. So we want to make sure that our takeout is strong and that we remind people of it. Well, I mean, like, look, Domino's does have great numbers at home. Is there some stay-at-home movement that we're missing? I don't know. Uh, I think you're seeing some delivery happening. Yeah. So pizza has, has always had delivery. Right. But you're seeing some of these third-party uh, companies coming in for delivery. Uh, and you know, I mean, like you the Postmate. Yes, of exactly. We have Foods B in Minneapolis. Right. You know, even Uber is talking about it. And in some markets, I know you could call right. probably and have food picked up by Uber and have yes, it delivered. You can. Yes, so you I can. think you're seeing a little bit of that. There's things, you know, those. That's the macro environment. Um, we like to focus on what we can control. We think we've got a great lineup coming up for the second quarter with soccer. Uh, we're partnering with uh, one of our beer partners, Heineken. We're, soccer lives here. That's the tagline. There's 80 games this summer between June and July with the uh, with the uh, Euro, the Euro Cup and is Copa the America. Is right in terms of your day point? It is. It is okay. uh, a little later for the for the Euro Cup, but you've right. got Copa America. The the games are being played here in the U.S. for the first time. So we're excited about that. Okay. Now, first, I I, I should have said up front, you come on whether it's good or bad. And that does matter. It matters tremendously to our viewers. Because if you weren't here, they'd be saying, fair weather friends, sometimes, you know, summer soldier, and that's not you. Uh, what? Give me three things that you think are going to make it so the second half is as good as you talked about in the call. Sure. I think a couple of things. I think you'll see a very tailored uh, message from us. So uh, where we can talk about our value days. We haven't done that. And no, shame on us for not doing that. Not and been, we do have to talk about too, it. So. Because we have great value days. Right. So reminding that guest to come in. I think, again, this soccer promotion and our all-in and, and the teams are ready. Our teams, 
in restaurant right. are ready to address soccer. And then just consistent, great execution. Uh, we've got a strong happy hour program and be tagging some of our TV commercials with our lunch message as well. Okay, so how about uh, at an individual store level? You've had captains. What are you telling the captains? Because I, I know you. So, I mean, it, this is not something, I'm not saying it's a spiritual company, it's a no. business company. Yeah. But I know that the captains are hearing from you. Can I be, tell, I'm a captain, tell me what you're saying to me. My numbers aren't as good and I'm working hard. Well, first of all, I want to find out what the guest is telling the captain. Okay. So ask the, asking the captains what they're hearing from the guest. Okay. Our, our guest uh, metrics are still very strong uh, mm -hmm. from both a value, from an engagement. That guest still is using us. They might not be using us as often. Okay. So what will get them to come in? Okay. We've got a great training program for the captains Ooh. around soccer, around football. I mean, specifically and on these new events. Absolutely. Okay. So they know, so one, we've got a soccer uh, primer, Soccer 101. If you don't know anything about soccer, we need to train the captains so they can engage with the guests. Uh, so find out what the guest is saying and then give them some specific programs that they can go out into communities and how they engage with guests. Well, I, I, look, I'm betting with you, not against you, uh, Thanks, because you've been successful for so many years for our I'm viewers. I'm excited about what we have coming and that's up, what and we'll get it turned around. Okay, thank you so much. That's Sally Smith, the president and CEO of Buffalo Wild Wings. Comes on when it's booming, comes on when it's got to get better. Mad Money's back after the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.